Hey, this is Lake Odom, and someone asked me to make a quick video on my wire bowl work. Uh, real quick, this is a demo table that I received from uh, Merit, so none of this product that I have on my table was uh, wasted to use. It's just what I had laying around. It's like demo stuff, and so I'll do a quick demonstration on my bowl. Thanks. All right, so the first thing I talked about was 035 wires. I've got a catheter and a micro catheter and a glide wire. I'm going to use these as like non-hydrophilic wires. So this would be like a Benson and an Amplatz. So I talk about rehooping my 035. So the first thing I do is take off the cheater and take it out past to the dock. And so when I rehoop, I don't have to rehoop through the cheater. I just put my finger on and push pull right so this is what i do for an 035 someone commented that they like to rehoop a lot of wires and there's a reason why i don't my intervention wires and i'll get to that later um, but if these were say i had to work with like three on the back of the table and i was limited space i'd take like a towel and get it wet and then i would just fold them up like i would if this was a benson and i can lay them underneath towels and I've got them slotted so if I can come get whatever wire I need they're not sticking out they don't get um, caught if this ends up being my working space to exchange wires and catheters so that's what I like to do when it comes to 035 the second thing I talk about is how I put the um, one of my wires back into the bowl so what I'll do is wrap it um, I won't spin all day getting it like super small because it gets a little crazy and unfurls so I'll just make some big hoops and just make sure my hoop is smaller than my bowl and then I'll compress it and then put it in here and keep my hand so it stays under the ridges so that's step two and then something that I didn't talk about uh, in my step two post is if you look here I can see the tip of my wire and if I grab this wire right here and the only thing that's left is my tip and pull my hand out the tip of my wire is facing for me to hand to the doctor and get going so that's how I pull my single wire out of a bowl and the other tip that I talk about is step three or uh, tip three this is the direction that the wire is facing so the tip of the wire is this way so no matter what I do if I pull the wire out like this the wire is always pointing towards the doctor and so, if I get multiple wires in here, this one is a Asahi Meister wire from Terumo. These were just what I had demoed. I left my Fathom at home. Um, but I talked about the wires are color coded, so I know that Terumo is green. This isn't the Meister yellow, but it's pretty close. And we'll pretend like this is a Fathom. Lock it on. And now if you look at my bowl, it looks like an absolute mess. And they're layered in there, and there's a couple of ways to get them out. Like I said, I can grab this, and I talk about my C-shape technique. I'll cover my hand with the bowl and create, it looks like an L, but I think of it like a C. And now if any wire pops up, while I got this hand, I've got it managed down here. So let's see if I can grab the bottom wire, which I know is the Meister, and see if my other wires pop out. So I grab the torque, I've got my C, and if another wire pops, I've got it managed like that. Um, if I was having trouble or these things got sticky, I can always take a piece of gauze like this and wet it and fold it around and wrap it in the wire. So when the guy said that he rehooped everything, the reason why I don't rehoop my interventional wires are the torques, because these are located within the working length of what the doctor is gonna use at the front of his catheter. So if I take these torques off every time, he and I both have to find um, where the wire comes out the front of the catheter. And that's why I leave my interventional wires with the torques where they are. Um, but I understand if you rehoop them, that works for you great. This is why I don't do that. And the bonus tip that I was talking about, 
like wires will get sticky and stick in these things on the wire and if you just shake it back and forth like this you'll see how muddy your water gets and that's it